Chief Washington correspondent George Stephanopoulos joins us now. George, such directly contrasting views, important speeches from the president and a former vice president. I've never seen anything like this. Uh, neither have I, Charlie. I don't think anyone ever has. We've never seen this stark a debate this early in an administration between a president and a former vice president. You know, the timing uh, to have these speeches in the same day and the same hour was something of a coincidence, but it really made for a stunning split screen, an important debate that really wasn't had during the last campaign because John McCain agreed with President Obama on a lot of these issues. It was also striking to me, Charlie, how personal it seemed beneath the surface. They were directly talking to each other. So boil it down, their most fundamental disagreement. Fundamental disagreement over waterboarding, over enhanced interrogation techniques. The vice president says it worked, it was legal, it was necessary. The president says it didn't work, there were alternatives. And, and this, this debate is not going to be uh, finished yet, even though the decision has been made. And also over closing Guantanamo, the vice president says this idea that uh, Guantanamo is a recruiting tool for terrorists is the same old refrain of the American left. We brought it on ourselves. The president says the commanders back him up on that score. So how do we come out of this? I mean, the president has said he will not allow in the future these interrogation techniques, and he said he will close Guantanamo. So does anything change, really, as a result of this debate? Well, the, the, but then that brings us to the big debate in Congress. What do you do about those detainees that are slated to come, could come to the United States? The president was losing ground on that issue. I think he froze Democrats in place right now, but he's going to have to come out with a plan, come out with a plan quickly uh, in order to turn that around in the Congress. He's also got an uphill fight to get back that bipartisan support he had for closing down Guantanamo during the campaign and at the early stages. Right now, he is losing Republican support. And even though the president made an eloquent case today, Vice President Cheney probably helped his cause as well. And this will probably polarize and partisanize the debate even more than it was before.